As great as leading your team to a top regular season record and having eye-popping averages is, the biggest stars are made in the NBA playoffs, where the lights shine brightest and the stage is highest. Giannis Antetokounmpo is one of the NBA's brightest stars, as we all know. And while he was on his way to his second MVP and leading the Bucks to their second straight 60-plus win season, while being the best players, one of the best players in the league, it's time to be that guy all the time, all throughout the playoffs. As, at least if he's trying to become the best player in the world and eclipse LeBron James while he's still an MVP candidate and playing at an elite level. Giannis is the reigning MVP of the 2018-2019 NBA season, leading the Bucks to 60 wins and the best record in the whole NBA. Yes, he had a great regular season, but the way he and his Bucks were taken out of the NBA playoffs was disappointing. We saw the Bucks win the first two games of the Eastern Conference Finals, then lose four straight games to Kawhi and his Raptors. You've probably heard of the way the Raptors ended up playing Giannis that season in a defensive game plan against him, daring him to shoot the ball, and once he won drive, Toronto had Serge Ibaka and Marcus Saul to meet him at the rim. They basically neutralized him for long points of a lot of those games, even though he was an MVP candidate. He was taken out of the playoffs by a superior player. They didn't make it easy for the MVP at all. I say all this to say, if Giannis wants to become the best player in the NBA, he must perform year after year in the playoffs, like we've seen other guys too. LeBron, of course, Kawhi, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, and for Giannis to be known as the best, he has to perform when it matters most every single year against the best. Even after his MVP season, we couldn't put him as the best player in the NBA after the way Kawhi and the Raptors handled him in the conference finals. I'm not going to kill Giannis for the way he played in the conference finals because it was first playoffs as Giannis Antetokounmpo. But going forward, he must be much better and he has another chance to be the best player in the world next go around. At a certain point, NBA players reach a level of stardom where expectations rain down on them harder than ever. They reach a level of regular season success that is on an elite level and they play at an all-star, even an MVP caliber level in Giannis's case. But the great player goes from being great, new, fresh, exhilarating to being expected season in and season out. Guys like Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, the best of the best are expected to play like the best every single year. It becomes expected at a certain point. One season, the great player must turn into several years of consistent stardom. After you show people what you can do, you must stay on top for as long as possible. All eyes are on the Greek freak and if he's our next king. When you look at Giannis Antetokounmpo, it's scary how good he could be when he's in his prime. He's only 25 and he's already this good. This year he's averaging 30 points per game, 14 rebounds, and 6 assists while being the leading MVP candidate and having a real candidacy for Defensive Player of the Year, also leading his team to the best record in the NBA once again. The single hole in Giannis' game is his jump shot and he's been improving that this season. During the season he was taking about 5 threes a game and shooting about 31% from 3. Big strides from last year. If Giannis is this good now, imagine when he's in his actual prime about 27, 28, 29 years old. With his jump shot being much more developed and still having the athleticism that he possesses today. As an NBA fan, it's fun to think about Giannis' potential in this league and even his potential on an all-time level. He's so good and so young and you should be worried about your favorite team facing Giannis if you're not a Bucks fan. Or whatever team Giannis is going to be in a few years. That raises the question, should Giannis stay loyal to the Milwaukee Bucks or should he take control of his career as early as possible and go somewhere else where a championship looks more likely? I've heard teams like Toronto or Miami, which should both be better fits than Milwaukee in my opinion, and the reason is Jimmy Butler, Pascal Siakam, would be better as a number two to Giannis than Chris Middleton. Although Chris Middleton is a great player, two-time All-Star, he was almost shooting 50-40-90 this season, I don't know if he's enough as a second option to Giannis if the Bucks are trying to win a championship. Giannis is trying to compete for championships right now, and I don't know if the Bucks are his best option. I'm interested to see Giannis' decision, a loyalty to Milwaukee, or search for a home elsewhere. In conclusion, I think Giannis Antetokounmpo is one of the best players in the league today. Leading MVP candidate, again, he's a good candidate for Defensive Player of the Year. He could score it, the ball, defend, pass, rebound. He could do it all. And he's even working on his jump shot, which is his biggest flaw right now. I just don't think he's ready to be called the best player in the world, at least not in this very moment. If he shows me something in the playoffs this season, gets to the finals, then I'll hear some arguments about him being the best player in the world, but right now I don't think he's proven enough in the playoffs and he hasn't had time to, but 
compared to other players in the league, I don't think he's proven enough to be called the best player in the NBA. I get what he's done this regular season, but I need to see some consistent play in the playoffs before I crown him the king of the league and better than LeBron James. LeBron James has proven that he could perform consistently in the playoffs year after year. I need to see that from Giannis before I can call him the best player in the NBA. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you love the NBA. This has been Rashad with Hoops Times 2. Peace out.